Holly and I write a blog called Leo T. Lovely um, and I'm currently working on a series which is 365 days of going green and I'm writing daily on uh, sustainable switches and habit changes that we can all do that will help us to live a greener lifestyle. Um, today I'm on day 92 and I'm going to be talking about nail polish. Um, nail polish is one of the things that I think we all know is probably not uh, the most natural product just from the smell alone. Um, I saw this really interesting story when I was researching this um, this subject uh, about a woman who was painting her daughter's nails um, and she was painting it over a styrofoam plate and a little drop of the nail polish fell on the styrofoam plate, plate and proceeded to eat through the styrofoam plate and it was in that moment that she decided that she didn't want to be painting her daughter's nails with something that could uh, eat through a styrofoam plate. So she created her own um, brand, which is called Piggy Paint. I've linked it into the blog post. So if you just click through to the blog post below, you can click through to her brand and her story as well, um, which was kind of one of those stories which just sort of exemplifies some of the problems with the products that are used on our children as well as on ourselves. Um, it's no new thing that the beauty industry has uh, products which are not healthy for us to um, be using in our beauty routines. Um, recently, the FDA tested about 400 um, types of lipstick and found lead in them. Um, and Johnson & Johnson has had a couple of um, bad PR pieces, I guess, with uh, carcinogens found in their beauty, in their baby shampoos, as well as in their talcum powder. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the three different categories that uh, reduce toxicity in your um, nail polish. There is no real sort of eco-friendly way to make nail polish. Um, so in instead of kind of telling everyone to not use it, because I know that's sort of not a realistic uh, expectation for myself and everyone else, um, I'm going to just sort of educate us all on the three different options that you can look for in order to sort of reduce your chances of ingesting the toxic chemicals through your nails and through your skin. Um, there was a study also done by Duke University and EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group. And the Environmental Working Group is a lobbyist group as well as a research um, center for beauty products that are made in the United States. And they, along with a brand called Beauty Counter, do a lot of um, lobbying towards the American government to have harmful chemicals removed from beauty products and cleaning products. Uh, the first category of nail polish is three free and this is kind of like a minimum expectation it's not really the most celebrated um, a brand that has gone three free recently is OPI which is a super popular nail polish um, all around the world three free just means um, and I'm gonna keep looking down because I've got uh, some little notes down below and I really am struggling um, pronouncing some of the chemicals um, so 3-free is free of tulene, which is like a chemical that causes neurological disorders. Definitely not something you want to be using on your kids. Um, it also does not have DBP, which is dibutyl phthalate, uh, which has been banned in the EU since 2003. Um, a couple of these chemicals have already been banned in the EU, so it's kind of surprising that the United States hasn't banned it from their products as well. Um, I'm not sure what their reasoning is for that. Uh, the third chemical that is removed from three free products is formaldehyde, and this is a known carcinogen, so it's something that you don't want to have on your skin, near your skin, or be breathing in, and especially for children, this is a huge, um, a huge chemical that you want to keep away from them. Um, so that's kind of like the minimum uh, expectation, I think, in terms of what I would put on my body, um, and definitely would be something that I would not put on my children's body, I would expect more. Um, in five free, which is the next category, this is kind of like not bad, and there was a brand called Mineral Fusion which sent me this product to review. Um, I've given it a try and I'll show you some sort of silky montages of me painting my nail polish, painting my nail polish? Painting my nails, which my friend, uh, photographer Manik Pantel filmed for me. I'll click through to her website, I'll link through to her website below. Um, it works great, I've done my nails twice with this product. Um, I chose the color Moonstone because it's my favorite healing stone, which is kind of a silly way to choose nail polish covers, but natural colors look best on me anyway. Um, and the first time I did it, it lasted about three days. Uh, they also sent me like a top coat um, as well, which is also 5.3. And um, 
works pretty well considering I did a spring clean on my apartment and I spend my entire day typing on the uh, on like the computer. Um, so that's a brand that is uh, five free and I've linked them in below as well through the blog post. Um, the th and the third category, um, so sorry, so five three has no tulene, no DBP, DBP, no formaldehyde, no formaldehyde resin, and no camphor. Now, formaldehyde resin is not as bad as formaldehyde, but it's still an allergen. And then camphor sounds like it would be a natural thing because it comes from a tree. Uh, and it is a natural thing, but when you inhale it, which you're going to do when you're uh, doing your nails, uh, it causes headaches and dizziness. So not really something you want to have uh, around you or in your uh, personal airspace. Um, that those five things make up the five three and then the next category is seven free so they do not have the five product five chemicals that i've just spoken about in three free and five free um, and in addition they do not have xalene which is a possible carcin carcinogen and they do not have tosyl made which i probably pronounced incorrectly um, which is a plasticizer that basically helps your nails dry fast. So brands that have like that 60 second dry and stuff like that, they're going to have that chemical in it, um, which is not something you want to be ingesting through your skin. I have linked, um, I put the link to my blog post below, which is, um, which shares all this information again with a little bit more sort of detail. So if you want to read up more on the chemicals that I've talked about in this post, as well as some brands um, associated with each of these uh, categories, you can link. You can click the link below. Um, an example of a brand that is seven free is Sienna Byron Bay. This is probably my favorite nail polish brand. Um, it is seven free as well as having a few other chemicals not included, and they make their um, bottle instead of with evil plastic like Mineral Fusion. They make it with a pest wood that grows in Australia, and then the bottom is glass, so you can recycle it after. Um, which I think is kind of the best example of eco-friendly slash toxic-free nail polish that there is out there. I would love to hear what your favorite nail polishes are, um, especially if they're seven free or more. Um, I've linked through in the blog a few brands that I would recommend and that are recommended by the EWG, so if you click the link below to the blog post you can read a, a bit more on these brands. Um, and uh, I think in addition it's important to make sure that your brand is cruelty free and vegan as well which basically just means that it hasn't been tested on animals and also doesn't have any animal byproducts in the nail polish which really your nail polish doesn't need. Um, I guess that kind of sums it up. Um, you can follow the Gone Green 2016 series on my blog linked in below uh, or you can follow me on Instagram, which is Leo T. Lovely. Uh, and yeah, that kind of sums it up. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to, happy to answer anything um, that you might ask, uh, if I can. And uh, keep following along and subscribe if you prefer the videos over the blog or a combination of the two. I'm wishing you a beautiful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah.